kind of busy today, so what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Right, let's check it out. And so as you guys can probably already tell, the 2021 F-150 has been completely redesigned for the 2021 model year. Every body panel has been changed for 2021, producing a fresh and extremely different look than in previous generations. So also several class exclusive features are going to be found on the 2021 F-150 that is going to definitely take you by surprise. And of course, I will be going over those for you guys in this video. So ultimately, this is going to be an in-depth first look at the brand new 2021 Ford F-150. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more new car reviews and first looks kind of like this one. So let me go ahead and get started with the pricing actually for the 2021 F-150. It's usually what everybody wants to know first. And Ford did just recently announce pricing for the 2021 F-150. For the first time ever, that base F-150 is actually going to start at over $30,000. That base XL trim starts at $30,635. And so ultimately what that means is of course the XL at the bottom trim, XLT, the next one up starts at $39,655. Lariat starts at $46,890. King Ranch for $58,025. Platinum for $60,805. And lastly, that limited starting at $72,520. That was all pricing for the Super Cab. There is the Super Crew, of course. If you want a little extra room for your rear passenger, simply add $2,350 to any of those prices. And so next I wanted to touch on the power plants because there are several of them, of course, for the 2021 F-150. And this was the only place where I wasn't allowed to look. Ford at the time of this video, at least, is not allowing people to check out the new engine configurations, but really there is only one new engine configuration for 2021, but it's a big one. The remaining five engines, yes, there's six different engine configurations for this one. The remaining five though have been carried over from the 2020 model year, including the 3.3 liter V6, 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6, 3.5 liter EcoBoost, the five liter naturally aspirated V8, and the Power Stroke V6 diesel. But the new one that they actually had on this particular F-150 you're looking at right now is the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 hybrid dubbed Power Boost. And this essentially is the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 with the addition of a 47 horsepower electric motor. And so Ford claims though for this particular engine configuration, they say it's going to be the best in class horsepower and torque with over 700 miles of range before you actually have to fill up again. 700 miles is quite a long time before having to fill up again. That's absolutely wonderful. And hopefully those numbers do come out that way. That would be amazing. Also Ford is claiming a towing capacity at a little over 12,000 pounds with that engine configuration as well. And of course, all of these engine setups are going to be paired up with a 10 speed automatic. That's every single trim, every single engine across the board. So 10 speed automatic is what I have in my Mustang. I'm perfectly happy with it. So definitely a nice transmission there. But so let me get to some of the class exclusives. Let's go ahead and start in the truck bed of the new F-150 here. Of course, you have what you would expect back there, including a spray and bed liner, tie down anchors, LED box lighting. But one of the things I absolutely love around back here is called a pro power onboard option. It is an option, but essentially lets you use the Ford F-150's engine instead of a generator to charge things like tools, electric bikes, a mini fridge, whatever. 240 volt, 30 amp outlet can be found back there. That is going to come with that new engine setup I just went over there four regular 15 amp outlets. So a lot of power going on back there if you wanted it. But Ford didn't stop there with the F-150. There's tons of really interesting features they continue with, including a C-clamp insert if you wanted to work with perhaps some two by fours in the back. And so there's a little plastic area where you can press that in to insert one side of the C-clamp. And of course the other side is going to be on top, but I found that pretty darn cool. Also, you will find cleats on the side of the lift gate to tie down extra long items perhaps. And it also doubles as a bottle opener on the bottom of those clamps as well. That was pretty darn cool and good thinking by Ford once again. And there is also an optional tailgate work surface back there as well. I guarantee you you've never seen this before built-in ruler on the actual tailgate itself, a place for pens, a place for a cell phone holder as well. All of this stuff you wouldn't even think to imagine could be part of a truck, but it's so freaking cool that Ford put it on the new F-150. And of course you have your tailgate step option back there as well. I always like to mention that when I review F-150s, it's a $375 option, but it just makes getting into the bed of a truck so much easier. Even if you're fully capable of just jumping up in there like myself, it's still so much easier with 
with that tailgate step option, I will say that. And of course, the interior has been completely redesigned as well, including a lockable vault under the rear seats, kind of like the Super Duty has. You guys may be familiar with that. Seats, of course, can fold up for more cargo space if you needed it. There's also an optional panoramic sunroof that extends all the way into the rear seats there. Bang & Olsen sound system, I love seeing that. It, of course, is going to be an option on the F-150. Also found some nice details on the rear doors as well. I wanted to show that to you guys, so that was pretty cool that I found that there too. But those details continue around to the front. Let me show you guys this. And so before I even jumped inside the F-150 here and started it up, there was an American flag that stood out just below the corners of the air vents there, and it could be viewed from outside the F-150. I loved this detail, and it was such a high-end detail as well. So, of course, Ford didn't have to do that, but I absolutely love that they did. As far as the seats go, they were very comfortable for me. Standard dual glove box. This is one of the cool things about the new F-150 as well. Of course, you have your standard glove box down below, but the upper glove box actually opens via a button just below the climate control vent there and that's one of the things you probably didn't expect on the f-150 a lot of trucks may have those dual glove boxes but kind of liked how the button to this one is kind of secretive to some degree as well so love seeing that but perhaps my favorite part about the new 2021 f-150 here is going to be the shifter it's the fact that with a push of a button you can fold down the shifter it rotates forward allowing you to fold out the center armrest, which creates a perfectly flat surface for things like eating lunch perhaps, or signing work documents. That's another option you could use that for, but how many other vehicles though, trucks, SUVs, anything out there do you know where you can push a button and the shifter will fold down, allowing for a very practical use like that. That is so freaking cool. I absolutely love that. And of course, the front seats, you may be familiar with this, can also fold completely flat if you wanted to perhaps take a quick siesta on a break, perhaps when you were at work. So it's almost like you could live in the F-150. It's pretty freaking cool. So I love that the seats folded flat. But again, the fact that the shifter was able to fold down was my favorite part because I don't know how many times I've ate in my vehicle where I wish I had something like that. So love that Ford put that feature in the new F-150. Now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech. Eight inch color touchscreen display does come standard. However, there is an optional 12 inch screen with upper trim levels. That of course is what you're looking at right now. And that comes with Sync 4. And so you guys are probably familiar with Sync 3 at this point, but the Sync 4, what that is going to add is wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay. So you know how you typically have to hook your smartphone up to the F-150 via USB cable? That is gone with Sync 4. It just automatically recognizes your smartphone and therefore you are able to view navigation up on that 12 inch screen or like and dislike your Pandora songs. And of course, there's a couple other compatible apps up there as well, but I love that it's wireless and a lot of manufacturers are just now starting to do that. So that's a big old feature there as well. And another cool thing about this Sync 4 system is it enables Ford to do over the air updates for your particular vehicle, meaning Ford can add new features or performance improvements perhaps at any given time. This is something that Tesla kind of started and all the other manufacturers are starting to do it now but again I love it because sometimes what Tesla does is add more power to the vehicles over the air at any given time the owner wakes up the next day and they're like oh I get to have more power in my vehicle now because I got an over-the-air update that is what Ford is now doing with the new F-150 I absolutely love that and of course you can check out plenty of other things on this screen there's climate control radio settings there's a factory navigation system available if you wanted to go that route although you don't need it with Android Auto Apple CarPlay these days but also 360 degree mile I love that. A lot of trucks, a lot of vehicles will give you that rear view camera standard. That's pretty basic at this point, but the 360 degree monitor that is going to be found on the new F-150 as well. And that gives you a bird's eye view with a couple different angle options as well. So that is pretty darn cool, especially if you're towing something or anything like that. That's certainly going to help you back up into a parking spot or whatever you want to use it for. And before we get to the exterior of the new F-150, of course, you have a push button start overhead sunglass holder, power rear window and home link control are up to three different garage doors that's always nice as well but as far as the exterior goes there's actually 11 different grill options available for the 2021 f-150 talking about making the truck your own 
That's a good bit of grill options, considering there's only half as many trim level options, so that's pretty cool. LED headlights up front, LED fog lights, LED daytime running lights, so LEDs all the way around, gives you better visibility at night. Black side steps, of course, trim level badging found on that front fender, and there's a nice front fender design. I like that on the 2021 F-150. A plethora of different wheel options as expected, so quite a few different choices there. LED taillights around back, you got the F-150 embossed into the rear tailgate, a chrome exhaust tip. A lot of times truck manufacturers don't add that extra detail, so I do like that. And of course, you got some rear parking sensors around back there as well, so you don't run into anything. And speaking of safety, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, that is standard across the board, even on the base XL trim levels. So automatic emergency braking standard on all trims. Absolutely love that. So I would imagine this is going to be a pretty safe vehicle once it gets tested, goes through IHS, all that fun stuff as well. So question everyone's asking, when is it going to be available? The new F-150 is available in the fall of 2020. That's going to be when it's arriving at dealership. So keep an eye on your local dealership. I'm sure they're going to be getting them in quite soon. So at the time of this video, that's only a few months away. So they should be getting that pretty soon. And so that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel and like i said do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold